Coach Radio from Lumpology.com, and welcome back. Today we're going to be uh, adding a webcam into your Blender game. So really exciting. Um, not a lot of tutorials for this out there, so I hope I've. Uh, I hope this helps you if you were looking for that. Anyways, so um, if you didn't know already, that's just basically taking the your your personal webcam of your computer and adding it onto an object texture in your Blender games uh, live feed, so it'll refresh good and yeah. So anyways, uh, this does not include sound, you can do that separately, um, but uh, yeah, so delete everything you've seen, start Blender, and I'm just going to re start by resizing this uh, plane to something uh, more like my um, webcam resolution. So I'm going to go to Blender Game, and we're just going to do 1920 by 1080. Okay. So GLSL, uh, and we're just going to change our uh, refresh rate. That's the, that's the important factor that defines how this works. I'm just going to make it times two, um, to 120 there. And frame rate and profile, just to double check, should be good. Okay, so um, I'm going to add a camera in right off the bat, uh, add it to my view. Bring out a bit more, bingo, bingo. Okay, good. Uh, Alright, so on our cube, that uh, we're just going to get a logic editor out, and we're going to need two things, and that's an always sensor and a Python controller. Wire that in, enable uh, true, this will control your frame rate. Um, 60 is one every second, zero is um, 60 frames per second in theory. Uh, depends on how good your webcam is, and uh, on uh, your refresh rate over here. So anyways, um, let's uh, pop back in here. Open up a new plane, set this to the UV image editor, and um, we're going to need to grab something quick. Uh, so uh, let's see, we can go to paint and uh, resize this to something that is similar to what you sized your object to, uh, and uh, paint it black or something, doesn't really matter. And I'm just going to save it to my desktop as webcam.png. Good, good. So now we're going to import it into our Blender game. Not import, sorry. Um, open webcam, open image, uh, and we're just, uh, making a new material. It doesn't matter what you name it. Make it shadeless, uh, new texture, and we're just going to change to webcam to have view. And I'm going to use project from view bounds as my unwrapping, so we get it perfectly lined up. Okay, good. good. So now we're going to need to write a small Python script. So uh, first things first, we're going to open the Blender text editor. So get rid of that, get rid of that. I'm going to go to text editor, and we're going to say new, and we're going to um, enable this and this. So um, the script is fairly straightforward and simple to understand. Uh, you can expand on it as you will, um, and um, yep, yeah, pretty universal. There's not, you can't make it really any simpler than this. So, uh, first step is, of course, um, importing the Blender game engine. So, import BG. Uh, by the way, the script is in the description box below, so you can pull from that anytime you like. Um, so, first is standard procedure. It's cont uh, equals BGE dot uh, logic dot get current controller. Um, on the next line, we're going to do uh, own equals const dot owner. Pretty familiar. So now we're going to make an if not statement. So if uh, not and um, uh, it's it's this is a boolean thing, or that's what it says in my. Um, I've never encountered one of these before, so I don't actually. I'm new to this whole procedure, but um, it, it works pretty well. So it's an it's an h a s a t t r. I don't have has has a tur. I don't know. Uh, anyway, so in here we're going to put bg dot logic dot uh, and then a dash, and we're going to say uh, video in here, just something to put in. Good. Uh, not semicolon, but a colon. That's the difference here, there. So now we're going to do like um, text equals bg dot Texture dot material ID here, so mats 
E R I A L I D. And then we're going to open brackets and close them here. And inside here, we're going to need to do a few things. Uh, it's just own, um, like we have before, and do that. And we're just going to say, oops, we're going to put these quotes in here, and we're going to say, I am. So um, now is where you're going to put the name of your uh, background image. So if you remember, we saved the webcam texture here. So I'm just going to say, webcam.png in there. Take it. So on the next line, it's bge uh, dot logic dot uh, video, and that equals bge dot texture dot texture id. I'm sorry, just texture, and then open brackets, close brackets, and then we're going to say own, and um, we're going to say text. That's what we referenced here and here. Uh, and this reference is this. OK, anyway, which reference is this? Anyway, so you know the procedure. So bg.logic.video. Uh, so we're going to uh, get a source now. So source video.source uh, equals bge.texture dot uh, video and this is the format so video ff mpeg is our format and um, you can use some other format if you like this is just what I like it's simple yeah anyways uh, now we're going to do uh, one final thing to play their source so uh, bg dot logic dot uh, video dot source dot play Open parentheses, close parentheses, and one final thing in the back, just to close off this entire thing, uh, we need to do, get the video refreshment refresh rate. So bg dot logic dot video dot refresh. That's not how you spell it. R e f r e s h. Okay, so. Through. Good, good, good. This looks correct. So save that. Oops, cancel. We're just going to call this webcam.py. Set this back to 3D view and drag up a logic editor. So in logic editor, the Python script needs to be wired in here. You can use module if you like. I'll just use webcam as my set. So we're going to save this to our desktop, we're going to call it webcam. And good, good. So we should be set now. Let's just over double check everything here. Uh, just set to GLSL, all that frame rate and profile. OK, so let us uh, run this and test it. So uh, OK, so it didn't work. The reason for that is probably pretty simple, so we're going to go into our console. Uh, it's yelling line 4, so we're going to check line 4. 2, 3, 4, cont. Oh, I see what it is. That's an N. Pretty simple. So, let us uh, run this. So, it's working. There we go. Uh, I hope this video helps, um, and um, 